Honorable Chair, I ask the report that the forum does exist for the Select Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development of the uh, it has been reported that a quorum does exist for the Select Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development to commence business. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those not in favor say no. So the eyes have it. So we'll now review and adoption of agenda. Can anyone move the motion to adopt the agenda without amendment? Any second? It has been moved and seconded to adopt the business of the day without amendment. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, Mr. Pierce and your delegates, we are very, very sorry. Uh, we are very sorry 1,000 times, and uh, I realize that some of you are here uh, before 10 o'clock. But you know, honorable members uh, don't have mobility now, and most of them are traveling very far distance. So that is why they uh, came very, very late. We are very, very sorry about that. This is very unfortunate, and this will not have happened. And we emphasize it before you guys come in that it's unfortunate. And uh, we, I repeat myself, we apologize for any inconvenience caused. So you all have the agenda in front of you, right? They don't have the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the agendas are as follows. Individual prayers, the week we have uh, done. Review and adoption of, uh, adoption of the agenda that was moved and seconded by honorable members. Now we go to the third one. Review of the procurement documents from the GGC regarding the procurement of uh, the fertilizer. So on, GPP is not here. They are not here, right? Yeah, because they said they have an exam, so they will not be able to come here. So I don't know whether the following people are in attendance. Uh, Miss Fatima Lee, we are here. Uh, Mr. Al Haji Bari, okay. Mr. Momodu Baji, no. not here. Mr. Abdullah Cham, Mr. Buba Jane, um, Mr. Sanabaro? Huh? He is not here. Oh, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Abdullah Toure, who was just an, who is Abdullah Toure? We are just an observer. So that means, uh, by way of implication, you were there observing everything that happened. Yeah, I was, I was there observing the information. Exactly. That's why I say, by way of implication, you were there from day one up to the last day that all these things, uh, all this process was happening, right? I can't say they want to the last day, but on this evaluation process, I was there. So I All the you know, evaluation it was a process, and it was day one. I'm, I'm sure this evaluation was not done one day. Yeah, it's not a say, I guess you were there observing, yeah, yeah, means observing. that you are aware of everything that happened. That is just the uh, I want to express specifically, I was there for the evaluation process. Exactly. So, day one, up to the last day of what happened, you are not going to play on that. I was there on the evaluation date, uh, during the evaluation process. I was there present. I think that's right. Yeah, that is why I say, by way of implication, you are aware of everything that happened during the evaluation process. Yes. I Correct. Understand. Exactly. It's the same. It's the same. We're talking about the same thing. Now, we have uh, the committee, and we're also going to thank you for, 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 for submitting these documents. I think when we requested these documents, you guys wasted no time uh, to, 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 uh, to supply them to the National Assembly, and uh, we congratulate you for that. Uh, but this is a national process, and we are all presiding over national process at our various capacities. Okay, so we met on the documents, and uh, the researcher, even though honorable members were not opportune, um, some of them, uh, you know, we, they serve in different different committees. So you, you have 24 committees. Some honorable members serve in more than uh, three, four committees. Committees. So that by way of that, they are overstretched on on certain committee works. So the documents came, and we acknowledge the receipt of them. 
the researchers uh, made some points, few points. Myself, uh, I, I, I took over the documents and went over them uh, just to see uh, uh, some certain things that, that happened. So we looked at it and I realized that most of the processes were blessed by uh, the GPPA. That is why it's unfortunate GPPA is not uh, here today. Uh, they said they have exams, uh, which I'm um, so my uh, in inconvenience us not to finish this process today because they should also be here uh, so that we, 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 we sat down as stakeholders uh, to see what really happened. Now, I went, when I went over it and the researchers, I think we all have a copy from the researchers. Yes. Exactly, yeah. All honorable members? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, so for me, uh, uh, what comes to my mind is uh, what value uh, do we get from this pro procurement process as a, as a country uh, and as a government? Uh, for me, if you ask me, uh, we did not get a, a, any value from this procurement process. Uh, even we get a value that is very, very minimal, which to me, if you ask me, is very, very unfortunate. Now, also, uh, I think it is high time also we distinguish between what is buying and what is procurement. Uh, we need to be very, very specific about this uh, at all times. And we also need to make sure procurement uh, is not a performance. Procurement is a process, especially uh, this amount that went up to $11 million uh, or so. This was not a small uh, procurement process. So, uh, but it's like in the process, uh, the Ministry of Agriculture and its aligned institution were not able to distinguish, are we doing procurement or are we, are we in fact buying? Another thing that I uh, realized from the documents is, the vendor master list was supplied by your procurement officer. Who's the procurement officer? One of the latest uh, procurement officer name is mentioned there. He gave you the master list of your vendors. Go to my biggest disappointment and surprise, this master list of vendors uh, was something not not adhered. Even though, yes, uh, through in the process, I realized that you eliminated some of the companies based on certain uh, uh, criteria, but the due diligence uh, that leads to that, uh, the committee was not uh, able to see that, which is also uh, very, very, very unfortunate. And in the first place, uh, we came out with this idea of uh, uh, making a, a restricted tender. Uh, this shouldn't have been a restricted tender. But if you want to call the Ministry of Agriculture for this, uh, we will be very unfair to you people. That is why I want the GPPA to be here. Why do they approve um, a, a restricted tender uh, for this process? Uh, you know, why do they re uh, approve restricted tender for, for this process? Another thing uh, we, uh, we, we realized was, uh, you guys, I think it was six companies you, 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 you solicited. And subsequently, uh, lots were divided into one, two, three lots, and um, contract was awarded. But this contract was awarded uh, in a period of two years. So what I did not see, and this might lead us to further submission uh, by your ministry, the contract was a period of two years. There was a renewal. But we did not see any process that leads to that renewal. I don't know whether you guys are following. The contract was awarded for a period of two years. So why was the fertilizer not delivered within that two years? Do you understand? That's number number two. The process, there was renewal of contract to the same contractor. <coughs> but the process, that leads to that renewal. We couldn't see it. So probably that my uh, um, um, honorable members, we may ask them to further submit uh, that process that is, because you can only renew contracts like that without uh, without processes. So we'll be very happy if we can have that uh, process that leads to renewal of contract uh, contracts to uh, to the said companies. Another thing that disturbed me uh, and also disturbed other honourable members uh, was the fact that uh, uh, in the bid document it was clearly stated. You, try, you know, when we are evaluating, uh, we set our criteria and we must go by that criteria. That is why we are evaluating, and that is why the contract subsequently must be awarded to one person. Because for sure, not all the suppliers will adhere or will be qualified for that, that set of criteria. So what I find so disturbing was, uh, we said specific uh, to, that, to that assignment or specific uh, supply. 
uh, what I did not see, uh, this company, some of the companies that were awarded, they did not uh, supply fertilizer to the government of the uh, uh, Gambia before. So I don't know what, what, makes, what made them qualify uh, to be awarded the contract. And also, another thing that I realized, when we are setting criteria for, for, for bid document, it cannot, be, it cannot just be open like that. That is why I say at the end of the day, I will say the whole procurement was a process having few companies in mind to award this contract. contract. Because otherwise, there are some criteria that we are so, so open just to make sure these uh, particular companies are uh, within the bracket to be awarded this, company, uh, this, this contract, which is very, 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 very un unfortunate. So now uh, I will go over the researchers. Uh, what the researchers find out, and I will want the Ministry of uh, Agriculture and these officials to pay attention to all details and explanations. No, today we will read this, and the uh, yeah, yeah, exactly they respond. That's why that's why they are here. Yeah, sure. Members are allowed to ask any question with regards to what you observed there. But uh, because of this document, we, the researchers uh, went over the documents and they were able to abstract something for us that we're going to ask the Minister of Agriculture officer to, to respond to us. So from there, members, we, we don't have any question. We are scrutinizing them. Do you understand? You, you can ask them any, any kind of question. So now that is it. I want uh, the ministry you people to pay attention to all this explanation here because we want questions uh, for all of this one by one. You are not under pressure. You may answer these questions here. That's why I said this will happen. Yeah, that 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 would be very good. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why is why is it? exactly? Yeah, we, we, we do that so that we don't waste time. We already spent that okay. uh, more time. We are, as I said, you are not under pressure to answer all of this thing here. You can, huh? you can go, you can go to your office also and respond. Do you understand? Because you, there are certain you may not be able to respond them here, huh? Yeah, what do you members, what do you want? Okay. 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 Well, only we die back of them, but since our economic in this country is already here. So it will have been important to have the paper and guide us and each and every one of us follow. Then there are also kept some attack behind. Okay. No, I think I think this is their performance. You yes. understand? This is something that they knew, this is what they went through. So for me, uh they should not have this. Paper. I second. It has been moved and seconded. Uh, it has been moved and seconded that the honorable members don't want you people to lay hand on this document. Then, as I will be reading, if you pay attention to it, and that uh, probably they'll also come out with their questions. Please, yeah, let, let, let's move, please. Now, as I say, you are not under pressure. Uh, you are you are not under pressure, and people, especially people who supports of three companies for the supply and delivery of. A lot as follows lot one zen enterprise to supply 10,000 metric ton of npk 15 is to 15 15 is to 15 etc at a value of nine million six hundred fifty thousand the company met the contractual uh, requirements but needed to improve on this 101,600 us dollars the company fulfilled the contractual requirement as well as delivery schedule lot three unique solution to supply urea 46 percent at uh, usd at dollar price three million five hundred twenty five thousand the company made the contractual requirements but needed to improve on its delivery schedule so where are we monitoring the delivery timeline because i think i read that some fertilizers were not delivered at, at the right time so do we in, where are we in fact following this delivery schedule According to the letter communicated to the aforementioned three companies dated 5th October, 
the contract to supply fertilizer was for two year period two year period okay and 20, uh, 2021 and 2022 farming season that's why i say in my preamble statement the contract uh, was awarded for a period of two years but within that two year for 29th october 2021 but the initial date the contract was signed is unknown is unknown discrepancies after reviewing the document uh, we realized that there were discrepancies um, the amount sent to GPPA for approval for Zen Enterprise to supply was 10,000 metric ton. However, the contract document signed on the 1st November 2022 indicates that the company is to supply 7,000 metric tons. Now the discrepancy arises. Who will supply the difference? And how was different supply? If the original Lord 2 got global, was to supply 7,000 metric ton as contained in a letter dated 26th uh, October 2021. However, its contract of 29 October 2021 only indicates 5,500 metric tons. They are here also. We, we see some discrepancies that need to be addressed. Lot three, there was no amount of metric ton stated for unique solution other than urea. 46, okay, maybe they don't understand that. Let's, let's, let's forget about that, okay? Maybe the researchers don't all understand that. Okay, that is always conditional percentage. That's okay. But it's a very good job, please. Bid evaluation report. Bid evaluation report and recommendation of award contract for the procurement and delivery of fertilizer was conducted on 9th February 2021. Remember, we are still, yes, horrible. Yeah. I just want to suggest that if my person will be go point by point. Okay. Then my person will be read from point uh, one. one. Okay. Allow us to digest and work on it so that the question will, will not be compiled. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that that's in order. Okay, that, that that's that's in order. That that's that's in order. That, that's fine. Oh okay. Uh, Mr. Miss Fatmali. The your procurement officer supply you how many names of companies? How many com companies? When you told him to develop the master data for your vendors, who has got experience in? Huh? Uh, if you would allow us to maybe introduce ourselves, yes, 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 and then we'll explain the process, like okay. what we went through and how we go about it. Okay. And then maybe perhaps if you have any questions, you can ask. Uh, Members. What is your name? Mohammed, yeah, the manager. Are you in fact, it's fact, is a very important thing. We forgot. We have introduced uh, ourselves. Uh, huh? Yeah. Honorable yeah. members, huh? If the questions can be asked for you, yes. And if he wants, uh, will prefer an, 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 you know, a half. Members, uh, the officers now interjected that they will want to make a submission um, so that we can ask uh, questions. Uh, do we agree to this? That's fine. That is fine, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, exactly, correct. Indeed, it's a teamwork. It's a teamwork. Nobody carried the whole institutional knowledge and memory. That's why we all work in institutions. So, yeah, all uh, PS, introduction from PS, introduce us so we know who are yeah. sitting. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, since we're discussing on a sensitive matter. Okay. I think it will be really important mm. to have the members of the ministry okay. to take an vote before this committee, considering our standing orders. Because I think with the issue of the fertilizer, okay. we really need some candid answers. It will be important to have the members of the ministry to actually take a vote, and looking at standing orders section one on one. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Member for Janjambure. Uh, uh, Ministry Official, Honorable Members, uh, the Honorable Member for Janjambure, uh, move a motion for. Uh, Honorable Member, 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 Honorable Member
Yes, yes this is what I always say. Permanent secretaries are the chief technocrats of the ministry. This whole process happened under your watch, under your ministry, exactly. under your mandate, and you don't have anything to say. Is that what you're telling the committee, honorable members? That, that, exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Permanent secretary, a chief technocrat of Ministry of Education, uh, Agriculture. You see how we talk about a process, let's take it easy, talk about a process that he witnessed, that he presided over, that he gives directive, but you see, he cannot say anything to honorable members? This is a full Do we agree to this? This uh, huh? is a fully self accounting institution under the ministry. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, if I'm not giving testimony, that's okay. I can stay, I can stay. But I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Have you have no knowledge. It's okay. Honorable members, it's understandable. You say he has no knowledge uh, of the fertilizer issue. Yeah. If, if, fair enough. If you don't know anything, it's okay. We can let go. Yeah. Yes, I was just quite for you. Thank God that if I can be excused, I won't. I tell you, we will prefer staff for you to stay and staff as an officer because so, it will be important in the whole process. The only recommendation I have is. I many, many things. Yeah. The only. The only recommendation I'll make to the uh, permanent secretary is uh, from the minister. You are the, in fact, permanent secretary are the accounting officers. Yes. Um, are the accounting officers, honestly. But next time, I will advise you to pay attention to this type of sensitive details under your watch. It's very, very important. Okay. Yeah. So start from. Hmm? Uh, I think this is, uh, this should be very strange to the committee. Yeah. And the peers of the ministry. Not yeah. different testimony. Uh, uh, let me put it in this form. If there is to be any procurement of fertilizer, I think the PS should have been the first person mm -hmm. to be aware of any communication. I so agree. If he is to say he have not got any idea about it, maybe, maybe I can help here also. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know when this process started. It may not. It may. I may not have been at the ministry at the time. But then, but then, when when it comes to institutional memories, mm -hmm. exactly. I, I, that's what I mean. I understand that. But I mean, as a self accounting officer, basically, in the previous program, when I was at the ministry, I was involved in the procurement. In this particular procurement, I was not involved in, because I was two years <coughs> away from the when I came. But I don't know when actually it started and what. Did. But then I'm just saying that I'm not trying to. Since I was a PS, then this thing. I don't, I'm not trying to. Yeah. Uh, I'm not trying to excuse myself from any responsibility. I, I'm I, just I, stating a fact. I understand. Yes, that's what I am trying to do. I understand. I was involved in, when, I, when I was there. I was yeah. involved. I made sure that I was involved in the procurement process. But I, in this procurement process, I was. Not I understand. Very very so yes, but when it comes to institutional memories, as the yeah, case. exactly. So that's what I wanted to make a proposal also. I think uh, this document should have been sent in the letters. That would have allowed us to make the necessary investigation. Because just like you said, yes. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, the office is a continuous office. So maybe if we had got access to this, what our, whatever the questions were, then I, maybe I could have made myself okay with, 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 the, with, the, with the issues. Even in fact, right now, I'm, I'm still surprised that it's not being shared. Because I don't think there is any secret in, 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 this, in this document itself. I think if for ease of communication, for ease of uh, the process, it would have been uh, more efficient to share the document. No, I think. Uh, in addition to that, yeah. what do you ask? No, that's what the question is. I'm not telling you anything. I'm just giving you a piece of my information. The reason, you mentioned something sensitive here that we should have shared this to you. This was a practice from your ministry, yes, right? You understand? Now, listen, your document. listen, yes. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. listen, yes. this is from your practice. Mm -hmm. And this is something we may expect from you and not from us to you. You understand? This is your practice that we are going to. No, I think yeah, the, 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 the issue here, yeah. yeah. yes, yeah. honorable yeah. member, uh, yeah. honorable member. Uh, Yes, as well. Somebody who's on this yes, already, or I remember, yeah? Okay, what I'm saying is, let us not try to assume here. He's saying, I think, I think. But then, even in within us here, uh, 
no one can come from outside and say, I think you are the chair of this world forever. So let us try to exactly from them. So I had to mention since yesterday, DPPA will not be present. Mm. But yet still we will continue. Yeah, sure. So your that DPPA will not be present as a meaning. Because I know for this procurement, DPPA is reversal there. So I'm coming in. Allow me. Oh, you want to take it from Yeah, me. when I say GPA will not be present, I met. Can you allow him to lunch here? No. Let's learn from him. He okay, yeah, yeah, come, come. Mm -hmm. Well, let's not assume that it was his role or he was there, he only was not present. Now you want him to take over. And now you want him to put, uh, you want to put him to a corner that he said he has no understanding of it. According to him, sometime back he was absent at the ministry as peace. Then, and you also previously mentioned that you may allow time for them to go back and make uh, chickens that they are not adopted. Good. Honorable, honorable member, I will, I will interject you here now. No, 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 no. Uh, you are dividing from the interest of the committee. Let me laugh. Uh -huh. So, okay. Then give him time to go back and make the resign. Looking back at the interest of the committee, now you see it. We have a paper in mm -hmm. front of this course. Mm -hmm. And all our discussions are centered here. To make work, to make work is, I think this is our topic of discussion. We would have just continued on this paper. You assign someone to do the work. He has already done it. Everything is on this paper. Finding Not questions. everything is on this paper. Almost. But you assign your researcher to research something. He has done it and reported yeah. it. So One minute. Let yeah. us follow. Honorable, so I, I have no choice but to interject here now. Person. Yeah, wait. You started, you, you started from a DPPA. That I, I said that and that has meaning. We were at the naming ceremony, one of the members. I don't, in fact, are you guys coming tomorrow? You say, no, we have exams. Is that meaning clear? I don't think we can come there tomorrow. That's why I, I, neither I said DPP might not come tomorrow. Because one of them, their key staff member told me they have names, uh, they have these exams today. So they cannot come. Whether we can adjoin, I told him, no, we cannot adjoin this. If you guys cannot come, we have to interact with agri officers. So you say that has meaning. And also, I would advise all of you, okay, later we can treat that later. It's okay. It's okay. Just what I, yes, Honorable Cora, it's okay. Honorable Blanga, Brown's focus is on, let's focus on the guest. That is, since we, please, allow me. Let us, since we assign our facts, let's go out and who had the extraction of the document that the ministry submitted to us. So, and the document is with us now. So, and it has a question at the end. So, Moriba, can we have one session, please? I think he is mm -hmm. saying that let us concentrate on this document and forget about all the other things. Then let us work on this document. That is uh, under, thank you very much, Moriba. We will go through it. And at the end, he, there are questions, questions. Mm -hmm. in, 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 before I was not aware of these questions, but I get to learn from him that there are questions at the end of the document. Mm -hmm. So he said, Let us just continue the way you started it mm -hmm. until the end. Then we can throw the question to the, to the officials, then they can respond. That is okay. What I uh, want uh, you people, honorable members, also to understand these questions and recommendations here is not exhaustive. Mm -hmm. It's not. No. This is less than you can still have 10 pages again beside this, yes. raising the same issues or different issues yes. from this document that we are supplied to you people. But for today, since yes. they submitted this, yeah, our insider submitted this, we are just focused on this. Let's focus on this as a group. Yeah. Yes. 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 Chairman, I have an observation with all due respect. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I say this? Mm -hmm. I think there is a motion move. Exactly. And the back and forward is not really helping us here. That's correct. That's he correct. seems to be more of confronting each other mm -hmm. than actually which is very looking at which the is actual work. Yeah. 
And to be realistic here, mm -hmm. there is a motion move. Mm -hmm. Can we look into that motion yes. and ensure we are able to progress? So PS that now, PS refused himself yes. from giving testimony Very. for lack of knowledge of the procedure. Uh, committee this accepted this, right? So move to the other guy, please. PS, okay. <coughs> Affirmation. Affirmation. That is if he's giving testimony. Are you talking? I don't know. Maybe I'm <coughs> okay. Then, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Maybe I, uh, yeah, I you may. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I am not sure if Okay, thank you very much uh, for, for that old check-in. Uh, now we said at uh, the latter part, nothing uh, but the truth. Uh, this is a national process and this is not a witch hunting. We just want to pull the record straight. So let's always be very, uh, let's focus on that. Nothing but the truth. Yes, so now honorable members, uh, we give them to talk. So later we give them, raise them these questions, right? I think that's what we agree. Yes, uh, your name again? <laughs> Mohamed Jai. Mohamed Jai. Director. JGC. JGC, okay. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. And uh, thank you, other uh, honorable members of the Agricultural Senate Committee. I think we are delighted to be here to answer the calls that you made. Uh, a request that was that you wanted to know about the, the procurement process. I want to believe that uh, we have fulfilled that request that is compliance in the first place, which is to submit uh, on time because we were given a week and we were able to submit within that week. Uh, but just to give you a background of the, the procurement process, um, DGC, we are also currently mandated to, to buy fertilizer on behalf of the country for, for the farming population. But uh, what we do is we look for the funded. To, to secure the financing. We go to the bank uh, to borrow funds and then um, buy the fertilizer. But because of the magnitude of the funds, obviously we need the approval of the, the government uh, because they would have to provide a sovereign guarantee because the banks would also require a guarantee for them to give us the resources. Approval from where? The Ministry of Finance you know, to give us uh, the guarantee, give the guarantee to the bank to give us the resources. You mean by way of you know, that mandate, if the amount is not at that magnitude, you may not even consider Ministry of Finance. This is what you're telling the committee. 
that you can do <coughs> financial procedures by no, yourself. No, no. I think you are getting it. Might, might make it lesser. No, I think you are getting me wrong. What I'm saying is, uh, if you if you go to the bank to borrow funds, the bank would require collateral. That's yeah, right. so that collateral is this, the, the guarantee that the Ministry of Finance provides that, okay, GGC will pay back. And I think we've done it last year. We took the loan, we, we repaid the loan, but we were guaranteed by the government. So there was no from the government. It's just a guarantee. Um, so w once we do that, um, then we solicit, I mean, we, we, we start the, the tender process. But I could remember, um, um, what is it called again? Uh, last year it was. Members. Yeah. Last year, you know, members. last year securing the financing was a bit difficult, you know, from the banks. You know, obviously, banks will also have to look at their liquidity profiles and things like that. So it was a bit slow. Uh, I think that was the reason why we even uh, started the process around November. And in fact, uh, if you look at history, fertilizer was arriving late in the past, almost around the, the rainy season, August, you know, September in some cases. But uh, in 2021, when we looked at the international market prices on the internet, uh, because of the pandemic, the prices were going up. Uh, and we thought that it was necessary for us to take a prompt action, uh, which was to engage the, the banks and then engage the government to give so us the Sorry to interject you, uh, uh, director. You go to the internet, find out the prices of fertilizer. Mr. Barisa, is that a good due diligence? I mean, it's in context. No, but you have internet um, fraudsters everywhere. Yes, I'm coming. So, what due diligence mechanism um, was, put, was put in place to even make sure that price is not. No, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, Mr. Chair, I, I think. Uh, Mr. Chair, I want the barista so. No, uh, allow me to ex okay, continue okay, my explanation. I, I think. Uh, you know, I think for us, we want to be we're here to find solutions, not to yes. find problems. Correct. You know, because at the end of the day, we are all serving the same population, which is Correct. the farming community and the Gambians. But we serve in different capacities. Correct. We serve as an over oversight, but we also serve in our capacity to, to support the farmers. And we have the same interest to help the Gambian people. So I want to believe that let's try to understand what the issues are, how we came about the process. If you have any questions, Maybe you can interject. I'm speaking as the managing director and also the, the actually the chairperson of the contracts committee. But I can delegate. That's the reason why I delegated my staff. Okay. But any responsibility in that cooperation is my responsibility because I am the chair of the contracts committee. Uh, so just to give you continue the, 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 the background. If you say internet, internet, we are living in a we in a global village. We are living in technology. We are living in people are not living in a textbook age anymore. So we have to go to the internet to look at things. And there are credible sites where you can go to, to, look, to, to look at information. So we, we obviously, we, we also do our due diligence by looking at uh, uh, those, those credible sites and those sites that we look at. So what I'm trying to uh, uh, explain here is that we, at that time, we all knew, even on TV, you know, if we are not living in denial, if you watch CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, I want to believe you can call those ones are very, very reputable uh, media houses they were reporting all over that fertilizer prices were going up at that time so we had to take even get action to ensure that we we give our farmers our farming community the fertilizer that they that they require so in that moment we our contrast committee uh, engaged the, the suppliers that in the first year because what we did was uh, in the bidding document we said we don't want every year tender every year tender every year tender if a particular supplier wins a tender this year, we can negotiate or renew that contract with that particular supplier the next year. So we, the con committee engaged those suppliers uh, on a negotiation, and then we realized that the amount of funds that we had could not buy what we bought for. The last year we bought 20,000. So it's true that we said 7,000. I know he was explaining things. But when the prices were, were being negotiated, we realized that we could not buy that quantity because we didn't have the resources at that time. That's why we reduced the quantity from 7,000 to 5,500 and from 10,000 to 7,000. And the urea from 3,000 to 1,500. Yeah, but um, we, we did that. The committee evaluated. And in the evaluation process, every step of the evaluation process has to go through GPPA for approval. 
Even to get the bidding document, we need to get DPPS approval to approve the bidding document. DPP approved the bidding document. We went to the next stage. We said we want to do restricted tender. They approve restricted tender. That go ahead with restricted tender. We said now these are the suppliers that we have um, we have evaluated and then found to be most responsive, and they did they did that. So just to you know because he's, he was talking about procurement as a process. You know, we, DGC has been here for the, for the past fifty years. I think we have uh, I, I have confidence in my team that they they did the, the, the right thing in terms of the process, the procurement process. That's why it's a process. You went to you have to identify the suppliers. You have to do this. You have to go through every process. Process has to go through GPPA for approval.